Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services, and today I'm going to give you a quick preview of some of the features of Microsoft 365 Copilot. So in my tenant here on the left hand side, you'll see I've got this new option here called uh, M365 Chat. By clicking into this option, it brings me to the screen here where I have um, a view of the uh, some of the tips for getting started. These change randomly as you refresh the screen. And then also down here, um, a box where I can type into and ask it uh, for some prompts. So for example, I could go into here and use it to help me write a quick email, for example, or brainstorm an idea. So perhaps I'm going to go uh, brainstorm um, five ideas for a power automate margin for beginners. I do this, it's going to go away and it's going to start generating some um, ideas for me. Um, you'll see it's nice and easy. You can just type in here. It's very similar to what you would see in sort of the chat GPT type experience as well. Um, and you'll see, however, it's going through looking at things and trying to find content in my documents as so on as it's going through. So here we go. He's generated a quick um, five points uh, to help us with that. So I can now either copy this and use that somewhere or I can um, prompt some further questions, suggestions down here, or I can refine it by asking more in this chat itself. I can also start a new chat on the side over here if I want to create a new chat um, to build a new idea off the back of. The feature I really like, however, is actually in Microsoft Word. So if we jump over into, into Word here, and I'm going to create a blank document. <clears throat> what you'll see when we create this blank document is it gives me immediately the ability to start using Copilot features. On the ribbon over here, so before I've clicked anything, it's actually popped up the Copilot to create a draft. Um, and on the right hand side over here, I've also got this Copilot button, which I can click. You can also do this in the desktop version of Word also, but I'm in the web version here today. So um, first thing you can do is you can actually reference some of your existing content. So if I click into my reference content option here, it'll let me pick some content. I've got a few sample documents that I've created. So I'm just going to go and browse my sample documents that are sitting in my OneDrive in here. And one that I've got sitting in here is uh, one called um, Change Management for IT Projects. And I've also got one down here, um, well, these are my recent ones, so if I actually go and have a look in, the, in there, I'll choose this one down here, uh, Change Management for IT Projects, and go Attach. And then I'm going to say um, um, Create an Executive Summary and Generate. And what it's going to do, it's going to read that document and it's going to generate a um, an executive summary from the document which I've just told it to use as a reference. Now, um, while it's doing this, one of the things that I found quite useful is the ability to then go away and like take an existing document, such as perhaps a white paper that you've got and you want to load that document in and then produce just a summary page um, that you can send out to the people that you're wanting to share that white paper with. So you'll see it's quite quickly produced just an executive summary here, um, far quicker than I could write it, and um, also might, perhaps I haven't read that document for a while, perhaps it's a white paper that I wrote uh, two, two years ago and I'm wanting to send it out because it's relevant to someone, I want to just give them a quick summary of what's in there. Which is generating a lot, perhaps I should have been more specific about how short I wanted this and asked it perhaps to do just a one pager. Um, but you'll see it's generated the document here for me and um, it's quite quite good, One just over one page there. Um, what I can also do is I can ask it to, um, I could ask it to do something more, summarizing that content more. Um, <clears throat> on the right hand side here, however, I've also got this uh, co-pilot button here, and I can do things like, um, uh, is there a call for action? A call to action on that document, so it's going to read the document and check and see, is there a call to action in here? And the answer is probably no, um, but it's looking through the document to find out if there is one. If there isn't, perhaps we should add one, maybe this is a sales document that needs to go out and we're wanting to say if you you know like what you see here please um, you know uh, do the following to engage with us further um, and so according to the document there is no explicit call to action so that's just shown on the right over here and so it's got also added in reference links down here to reference to things which is quite handy so that's really cool but one of the features in word of course is the document needs to be a word document so if we go back over to our um, M365 chat here, we can do something else. We can actually get it to summarize information from a document. So if I go down to here and click the attachment option um, and go to files, 
I can choose a file. So now I wrote a book on SharePoint um, a couple of years ago now. Um, well, the latest version of it was released at the start of this year, but I've got a PDF version of it. It's about um, 38,000 words, over 150 pages. Um, and so, and it's got all kinds of aspects of stuff in here about building intranets. So maybe I can just go, um, tell me five best practices for getting, uh, for creating and engaging intranet. And so it's going to use my book as a reference and it's going to bring me back. You'll see it's saying here it's combing through the PDF file um, and it's looking for five best practices. And now it's going to, um, it'll generate me a result. So the really cool thing about this is that it means that you can reuse um, sort of your intellectual property that you've developed previously in new ways. It, it creates references in there so you can reference to which section of the PDF file it it needs, uh, you need, um, but it unlocks that stuff. And I guess the key point is that perhaps you wrote this a while ago, like I did, and you can't remember exactly what it was that you put in there. And you go, I know there's good stuff in here. I'm just not quite, don't want to spend the time trying to find it. Um, it can do that for you. So it's just generated this list here of five best practices. Um, I think that's particularly great. Um, I can reuse the intellectual property that I've already got. Um, this could be buried in contract documents. It could be buried in your marketing material. It could be uh, something that you've got, like a, a large resource of some sort um, in, a, in a file. Um, super, super handy, um, really quick, and it generates a pretty good job. So that's just a couple of examples of some things you can do. Uh, one, one final thing I'll show, actually, which I really also like in here, is the ability to summarize website content. So you can also go, if I go back over to here, I'm just going to open a new tab, um, and you'll see it's got a bunch of other capabilities in here. So catch up on messages, so you can go and summarize content from Teams, um, get calendar information about the next pers the person in the meeting you're meeting with next. Um, brainstorming, like I showed um, here, generate some ideas and taglines, summarize an email. Okay, so now I've got my document here that I've created. I can ask it another question. Create a summary email. Um, Paragraph. Take this summary here, generate the summary which can go into an email with the attachment and I can send it off. Now you'll see when you do this it's a little bit, um, uh, the language is a little bit formal. Um, you can you can change this of course, uh, but you'll see it's starting to pull things together here. It's saying still working on it, I think that'll be the new Microsoft t-shirt and or maybe it's almost there. Here we go. So dear all. <laughs> And it's just generated a summary paragraph here, which I can post paste into an email link. It's got hyperlink hyper references down the bottom down here, so I can um, quickly share that with um, someone else in the organisation, and they can get the summary of the summary in this case. So hopefully that's been quite interesting and useful for you to see. Um, I'll do lots more playing with this over the next week while I've only had it for a couple of days, so I uh, just getting my head around it myself. Um, but if you've enjoyed this, please um, please uh, share the video. Thank you.